This is The Open. It's great to be here with you. I'm Nadine Blaney. Well, our next guest is a Monash University professor turned med tech entrepreneur. 4D Medical is a Melbourne-based software company which focuses on diagnosing and managing patients with lung disease. The company raised $56 million in the IPO stage, and it was even brought forward due to strong demand. So they're listing today on the ASX to tell us all about it, what he's hoping for the future. We're joined by the 4D Medical CEO himself, Professor Andreas Foras. Thanks for joining us. Great to have you here with us. Um, what a journey you've been on. It's a uh, I guess, hits a milestone today with this debut on the ASX. So tell us about just this journey through the whole IPO process. Yeah, look, it's, it's, been, uh, it's been quite surreal. I think the, um, the, you know, and that's been sort of hammered home by the, the fact that, you know, it's, it's all been done, you know, over Skype and, and Zoom and, and, and indirectly. But the, you know, just the, the deep level of excitement and interest in our technology, the, the availability of funds that we can use to transform the business and take ourselves to the next step, as well as just that, that level of kind of uh, endorsement that we feel in the business from, from having that support uh, have all really been, been quite incredible. Wonderful. I think a lot of our viewers will have heard of 4D Medical, but let's take a step back. Um, talk to us about what, what you actually do and what you are on the road to. At the at the heart is a very simple idea, and and that is that um, you know with better information, patients and their doctors can make better decisions, and uh, so you know so we built a technology that allows doctors and patients to see inside of the lungs uh, better than uh, you know in in ways that just haven't been possible before. So we have a scan that allows you to measure airflow in four dimensions. Uh, you know, throughout the lung as you breathe. And I think more exciting than that, we've added the capability to do that using existing X-ray equipment that's already in every hospital around the world. So a patient can go in and just use a very simple procedure that's very safe, very cheap on existing equipment and get a really state-of-the-art, high-tech, high -tech, four-dimensional scan of their lungs as they breathe. Okay. I was speaking with the CEO of ResMed yesterday, Mick Farrell, and he said if COVID has done one thing, it has been to bring attention to respiratory health. And he believes that this focus will remain post-pandemic because of everything that's happened and potentially even because of the difficulties that we will have to live with for all of the COVID survivors. Is that true? Look, I, I think it's absolutely true. The the signs have been there for us, even though they may have been may have been a little smaller. You know, whether it's been uh, coal miners' lungs or, or thunderstorm asthma, or recently, you know, troubles with silicosis. I think those have been little messages to us that we can't adequately see what's happening in the lungs, and we're not well prepared from there to make decisions about how to treat people. Um, but I think, you know, as you say, it's undeniable now that people can see just how important. Um, how important lung health is and how poorly prepared we are to deal with issues around the lungs. Uh, so, you know, I think, uh, I think we, will, we will start to turn a page of investment and invest more heavily in it so that we can, uh, we can deal with this going forward. And that, you know, not the least of which there's, you know, for example, in the United States, 5 million people who have been diagnosed with COVID, they will all need ongoing uh, treatment and care for their lungs to a level uh, much greater than, than before. Well, you mentioned the United States. So where is this technology being used currently? Where can it be used in the future? Well, we're, we're really very excited. In May of this year, we had FDA clearance. So that gives us the, the, uh, the right, the license to use the technology across all of the United States. Um, and that's, that's across any and all, all diseases of the lungs, which is very exciting. And we're going through the steps to, to bring uh, Australia and New Zealand into the fold next. And from there, we're looking to take it to the rest of the world. Okay, obviously that uh, sales process could be potentially complicated by COVID, at least for now. So how do you move to getting the actual technology? You mentioned you don't have to retrofit, uh, I suppose you can retrofit some of the, the existing technology in hospitals and medical centers. So yeah, what's the next stage of the journey? Presumably the 55.8 million that you've, you've raised is, is to, to you know, progress that actual adoption of the technology. 
Yeah, that's right. So the technology is completely proven out. The clinical trials have been fantastically successful. Uh, we have the clearance from the FDA. So now we're just going through the process of, of setting ourselves up for commercialization. We'll be doing some, uh, some pilot sites in the United States over the next month. And then later in the year, we'll be opening, you know, we're putting our, our sign up at the door, uh, ready to sign commercial contracts and, and start that sales process from there. But as you say, we, we have an incredibly light touch model. We don't need to install any hardware whatsoever. We don't need to touch or modify the hardware in these hospitals. And in fact, we can do a complete installation at a hospital without even visiting that site. We can do the whole thing remotely. So really the whole thing's been designed to be, there's no capital expense for the site and no one even needs to visit there. So I think it's something that uh, we'll be in a position to do even in these disruptive times. Okay, and for uh, our viewers out there, what will be your ticker code on the ASX? What will be the the three letter or perhaps numeric designation? Uh, we're uh, so excited uh, to be going out today with 4DX as our ticker. 4DX, all right, Professor Andreas Foros, big day for you. Congratulations, we wish you well. Thank you so much, thank you.